Welcome to episode 3 of Blockchain for All. In this episode, I am making my best effort to present for you a high level view of blockchain transaction cycle. I have broadly boxed blockchain transaction cycle in five steps that are explained as well as visualized diagrammatically for your understanding. Step 1. Someone makes a transaction. Well, obviously, blockchain cycle starts when someone makes a transaction on the application that you have or some expert programmers have built using blockchain technology. Let us take an example that a client purchases a ticket from event organizer or ticket seller. The application is installed on cell phone of seller and buyer. So this app serves as a user interface so seller scans buyer's address to transfer the ticket. It is interesting that we must know that a blockchain starts from its first ever block that is called Genesis block and new blocks are appended periodically on top of it. To further elaborate it, we must understand that a transaction recorded on a blockchain contains a peer-to-peer -peer message that specifies the executed transaction or a set of transactions, the data parameters used for execution of the operation, the sender and the receiver of the message, the value of the transaction, or I should say value involved in the transaction, and the timestamp, all is recorded in the block of transaction. Step 2 of blockchain transaction cycle is block of transaction or transactions get broadcasted to a network of participants. The installed app on cell phone plays a vital function here as it creates the transaction and signs it with private key of the existing owner of the ticket. So in this particular application or example, I should say, a ticket of an event is actually a block. Or in other words, transaction of a ticket's purchase and sale is a block and gets broadcasted to a network of participants whose networked computers are called nodes. The third step is upon verification the new block of transaction is added to the existing blockchain. Here I would say that once verified the new block of transactions is added to the existing blockchain. So the transaction or I should say a set of transactions gets uh, recorded successfully. On technical side, this would require a function call for the verification. And once there is a call for verification, then execution takes place. So the programming uh, part will do this. So there is an executable code with certain rules that would uh, get implemented and that would authenticate the transaction. And once the transaction gets uh, authenticated, now it gets recorded in the blockchain. So recording takes place. So first, once transaction is verified, seller of ticket gets paid. Execution, of course, is based on protocols. Uh, a protocol is a set of rules for everyone to follow. So in blockchain programming, you will learn uh, about these protocols. Step four of the tra blockchain transaction cycle is transactions 
and data are recorded simultaneously in database of all the participants. As I always say, blockchain is basically a networked distributed database. Copies of database with other participants will get updated to reflect the most recent transaction. Since blockchain is a distributed system, participants need to follow the protocols to connect and to be able to communicate and transact with each other and make sure transactions and data are recorded simultaneously in databases of all the participants. Step 5 and the last step uh, I would say in blockchain transaction cycle is block records the executed transaction on the top of the most recently updated copy of the blockchain. This way blockchain continues to build and more and more blocks build up on top of the existing blockchain as each block records executed transactions on top of most recently updated copy of the blockchain. And this blockchain cycle continues to repeat itself. So this is high level view of blockchain uh, transaction cycle and in next episode we will talk about the encryption part, uh, the cryptography part, the network security part of blockchain. If you like, please subscribe and share. See you next time.